Hey gang, Melissa here, and I have a very quick fun tag for you today. My twin, and no, she's not really my twin, but uh, we have just kind of, in a juvenile manner, nicknamed each other that because we think so much alike on so many different things that, uh, yeah, that's just how it happened. But uh, Miss Kristen Game, she came up with the tag, and it is called Your Go-To Look. And it's basically what you think it might be. It is your go-to look. What is that look that, okay, I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even care what I'm wearing. I'm just going to put on this face because I know it works with just about anything. And I'm going out the door. So I ha happen to be wearing um, my go-to look right now. And I thought I would share what that look is with you right now. So um, my look starts with... Uh, if you've been a, a viewer for a while, this several things in here will not be new to you. You'll be like, oh, really? I could have seen that coming from a mile away. But, um, <clears throat> Cetaphil. It's UVA, UVB Defense, and it's SPF 50. I do not leave the house without SPF 50 or above on my face. And if you are doing so, you're wrong. You just shouldn't do it. Um, I'm not being judgmental. I'm just, I'm worried about you in your face. And I'm a wrinkle freak. So 50 and above. It doesn't have to be Cetaphil, but 50 and above. Uh, yeah, so that's what goes on um, first. This guy right here, Bobbi Brown, it is the Hydrating Eye Cream. And I will list it below. Um, I discovered this in August, and actually it was one of those very like, hey, I need an eye cream, I don't care. What's, what's somebody using that they like right now? That's what I asked when we were in Chicago. And... Um, I even think it was Twin that said, hey, the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. And I was like, fine, whatever, because I just needed something because I was out of my normal stuff. And um, this has been life-changing. Um, and that's not even me being dramatic. Uh, this is just, uh, hands down, the best eye cream I have ever used. And believe me, I have tried a plethora of them. I'm Hungarian and I'm Italian. I do have dark circles. Uh, is some of it probably for my lifestyle of being fat and making poor food choices? Sure. Um, but is some of it just genetics? Then yeah, it is. And this stuff is phenomenal. So I'll list it below and um, wow, I use it twice a day. I use it in the morning and I use it in the evening and I don't really see me buying anything else in the future. It's expensive. I'm not going to lie to you. It's about 42 bucks for this thing, but, but simmer down. I paid $42 and I got it in August and I've been using it twice a day since August something and I still have all that left so although it's $42 hi we're in January uh, and by the time you see this it may be February and I still have hi that much left phenomenal all right so I start with that and right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use up my found or my primer and the primer I'm trying to use up is the Guerlain, 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 Guerlain Meteorites. Um, this is a purchase that I made last year, maybe February or March, sometime around there. And uh, it's absurdly expensive. It's 70 bucks for a primer. Um, I will not purchase this again. I bought it because I was like, oh, I want a very luxury item. And I... <laughs> This stuff is luxury, okay? But, um, although it is, it's a great product, and I do enjoy it, I especially enjoy it because it smells like Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. I'm not even kidding. It really does. Um, but I don't feel like it does anything so special to my face for $70 that um, my Revlon Photo Finish or my um, Smashbox or especially now that I have found the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil. Once I use up all of my other primers, I'm going full-time to the Mineral Veil. But this is what I'm using up right now. Um, look at the little beads. Again, I'm not... Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. Phenomenal. So that is what's priming if my face. If you watched me for a while, this is not going to be a surprise. Uh, if you're new to me, then surprise! It is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I use the just the old-fashioned Revlon Color Stay. And depending on the season, right now I have the normal the dry skin for the winter. And then in the summer, I switch up to the oily combo skin. And my color is 150 Buff. And again, it'll be listed below. But um, this is the only 
foundation that I have found that, that I have found. Um, matches me perfectly. And no, I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually trying to finish up using um, the L'Oreal Magic Souffle. I've done a whole review on that. I'll link it below if you want to see that. But um, I'm just trying to get through it. But um, this, this right here, since I was 19, 19 years old. Hi, I'm 36 right now. And I have not found anything that has beaten it. And I've even tried... Uh, meh. I've even tried department store. I've tried everything high-end you can imagine. And hands down, time after time, it's a Revlon color stay. I, I just don't even know why I try anything other than this. Because it's phenomenal. It lasts. It's the perfect color. I can't say enough good things about it. So... That's the foundation that goes on. For a corrector, if I'm going to use a corrector that day, it is the Giorgio Armani right here, the Master Corrector. My color is number two, the orange, and it, it demolishes my dark circles like nothing else I've ever tried. I've tried the, um, and I know it's a cult favorite. Please don't yell. I know it's a cult favorite. But the um, Bobbi Brown, the whole salmon, yada yada, whatever, nothing. It did nothing for me. Actually, it kind of caked up on me, and I felt like it enhanced my darkness. Um, but I do know that it does work for some. And, and just like with all makeup, some things work better for certain people than other people. And that's, that's okay. It's okay. But this for me is holy grail and it's got this amazing little precision thing so you know I'm only putting it in that little area and it's just so it's thin and it's not cakey but at the same time it's not so thin that you don't get the coverage you get the coverage it's just the perfect balance of amazingness and that is probably what they need to use in their marketing I'm sure they'll call me immediately for that I really don't believe that but on top of that I will either use uh, the Armani Master Corrector, no, that's a lie, the Armani Concealer, but I, I didn't even bring it out because what I do just for the go-to not even paying attention look is on top of that I put the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And my color is in Light Pale, but I also pair it, not like a bird parrot, but I pair, P-A-I-R, it with the Illuminator. And so once I correct, I do the light and the illuminator together up under here. You know, I do the whole V thing because uh, once I do that, I immediately look like Kim Kardashian. Don't I? Don't I? No. I don't. Um, and that bothers me. But uh, I'm working through it and I'm talking to somebody about that. But uh, I use these two together. And then I also use the illuminator on the bridge of my nose and then up here because although I know I'm not Kim Kardashian nor do I resemble her in any way, shape, or form, I try and fake it frequently. And uh, it really annoys me how gorgeous she is. Whether you like her or not as a person, um, you can't deny that her makeup is phenomenal. That may be the word for the video. I may start a drinking game in this video. Every time I say phenomenal, drink. Um water if you like really Oscar really um he's a mountain dog and it's really not even that cold out so I'm not sure what the issue is but uh continuing on with my go-to look uh walking on eggshells it is a wet and wild color it is 380b it is universally flattering for almost everyone I say almost because if I said everyone then someone would go really it sucks on me so I say almost everyone and it's a it's a trio it's two dollars and 99 cents in the majority of places that you pick it up and um it it is what I call idiot proof and again for me not you you're not an idiot I am I need someone to tell me uh, and maybe not so much anymore because I'm learning but it has these little words that are on here, and if you haven't used it too much, it'll say um, brow bone, crease, eyelid. That's wore out. But uh, so super simple, super uh, fiscally sound, and you just don't have to think about it. So that is what I have on right now, and again, I don't think about it. However, my go-to look for a little bit more dramatic in the evening has been the Inglot. This color right here, which my twin picked out for me, 
And by the way, if you don't know, the tops of these will pick them out for you. Um, on my uh, lid, it is the eyeshadow AMC Shine 12. AMC Shine 12. That's what I put on <clears throat> my lid. And then I pop a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible on there in Amber Rush. Uh, if you have blue eyes, this needs to be a staple in your makeup collection, in your makeup bag, in your life. Uh, it's very flattering to blue eyes, even if I do say so myself. Um, but that seems to be the lid color. Uh, and then uh, on those days when I'm not using the Walking on Eggshells, I will put the um, Maybelline Chic Minerals in 30S Champagne Fizz as a highlight. So uh, just a couple different options for you if you want a little bit more dramatic or you're just going for a total and complete So moving look. on to cheeks. For my cheeks, it is one of two products that I use when I don't want to think about it. Um, the only NARS blush that I own is this one. And it is... It's not orgasm. Nope, it's not. It's called Outlaw. And it was either in their fall or winter collection of this past year. And also got that while I was in Chicago. But it's, for me, it's just... First of all, it's not really super pigmented. Uh, and, and I don't hate that because I can just keep building it as much as I want. So, but um, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a berry color. It's berry. That's about it. But I like it, and it doesn't look like, you know, it's just this big powder stuck on your cheek. It's got enough sheen to it without being glittery or, uh, what's the word, or shimmery. But it, it looks natural and not just like you got a big bunch of powder on your face. The other go-to of mine is the Lorac uh, Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed. And that's, um, if you've been watching it, YouTube for a while. It's a pretty common color. At least Alyssa Dewan. That's like her all-time favorite. Uh, one of her all-time favorite blushes. It's a little bit more pigmented, but um, it's just it. It's a peachy pink, and um, yeah, it's peachy pink. But it's very nice, and it is also universally flattering. So that is great. On my lips, uh, I have. <laughs> I ordered this just to see what it was all about. It is the Giorgio Armani. It's the new Lip Maestro that they have, and the color I have is 501. Um, it's, a, it's a matte lip stain, and I use this for a, basically, I take it and I use it for a liner and a stain. It's a stain, all right? And a stain for my lips, and then I let it sit there for a little while, and then I will blot it off, and then over that, I've been putting the um, Burberry Rosewood, <laughs> sorry, Burberry Rosewood, I've been putting that over it, Beca and because I cannot just live with two lip colors at once, I top that off with the NYX Mega Shine Gloss in Sugar Pie. Um, see, I'll even put it over there, because it... It gives it some shimmer and then it dulls it down a little bit because I didn't want it like too deep and too stark. Um, but this is perfect. And you can see that's even starting to turn pink because I use it so much. But that's the... I'm going to get that. Just stand by. I'll get that for you. Um, it almost looks like whitish creamish. But for me, it's a great balance to kind of tone down the uh, what for me is too, too stark and too much for me. So that... And, okay, on my inner rim there, I've been using this for a long time. It's Pixie, and it's an eye, It's called Eye Bright Liner. I don't like using white unless it's a, a random occasion, and I'm going to be out really, really late at night, and it's going to be somewhere dark. I don't like using white on my inner rims, but I like something that will brighten it up. So this is the Pixie Eye Bright Liner. You can see that it's like flesh colored and it, for me it has to <laughs> did I seriously just like completely break that off all right but um for me and i have it on now i feel like it brightens without looking too uh, abnormal without looking too fake with and i'm not saying that anyone who wears white it looks fake but for me it just doesn't work for me and i don't know if it's because i'm older 
maybe younger you can get away with it, but um, I just like brightening with a little bit more natural than just the stark white. And then mascara, I know what you think I'm going to say. If you've been watching me for a while, you think I'm going to say the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which uh, is still phenomenal. And uh, I will use this as a shameless opportunity to link that video there, uh, the review on it. But I've been using the classic falsies, the Maybelline falsies. It's the original. It's not the drama. It's not the lace. It's just the first original one that came out. And it's just the Volume Express. And um, this stuff is just excellent. Uh, much like the Jordan Best Lash Extreme, I can't say enough good things about it. The only difference is this is a little bit more expensive. But it's just been what I've been grabbing and my go-to lately. So uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. And uh, let me know if you have any questions below, comments. Please feel free to leave them. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, thanks.